Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we are going to talk about power in the discus, specifically what do we need to do and how do we need to move to create that monster whip. We're going to do a comparison against one of the greats all time and a developing thrower and show you exactly what's missing, so check it out. Okay, everybody, it's, uh, so what we talked about today is creating power in the throw, and what we wanna do is we wanna look at, we have a young athlete here on our right, and this athlete is always working hard and um, you know trying to do some things, but there's a couple of key things that are really cutting off her power. Remember, the, the ability to generate power is really what makes these amazing world-class throwers world-class. So it's what every young thrower aspires to be. You wanna develop that monster finish, that just big slam, and in the discus, it's that big stretch. So what we're gonna look at is we're gonna take a look at Keeley here, and I'm gonna kinda of show it in slow-mo, and you're gonna notice we can see we've got a little bit of an angle, right? Whereas this, this throw, we're looking at, you know, a direct shot camera is essentially at 12 o'clock, and this camera's sitting over here probably like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And so you're gonna see the athlete and how the athlete comes into the throw, and we're gonna pay attention to a couple of things that are gonna be really important. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at Perkovich as she comes through. You're gonna notice as she's moving, you're gonna see her come in. Now, here's the big key. You see this foot kind of crank, you see the position of the arm. So if we were looking from this angle, like we're looking over here, we wouldn't see this portion of her collarbone and her hips, right? We would see the hips facing more this way still and the shoulders facing more this way. And so that's one of the things you wanna understand. That's one of the reasons why we created our throwing chain reaction system, right? We're trying to teach you specifically what you're doing at each phase of the throw. How do you train that one and a half seconds? So this is a perfect example. We would say our pillar two is too rotational. And so we wanna see that movement around the axis, right? So you're gonna notice that Perkovich, the thing that she does, and we've talked about this in other videos, she moves around this axis, right? She's coming here. Well, we have our athlete here, and she is moving basically into and over rotating the axis. So we're gonna see two big things here that are gonna be eliminating power. One is turning down and one is turning in. So which one is doing which? What direction is she going? Boom, you see the load? Look at the drop and look at the angle. This is really key. I've heard some other coaches talk about knee drop. We teach always to push the knee into the throw. It is a down motion, but we don't teach to load the knee because trying to come out of that's impossible. But there's a couple of reasons why some athletes go too far down. And what we're gonna show you here is what? Why? So here we look at Perkovich again. Look at that left arm as she comes in. See where it's at right there. Let me fix this. Right there. You see her. You can still see the left arm. She comes in right here as I'm at 12. We're barely going to see her arm right there. And now she's loaded. And now we see the long sweep leg and the counterbalance of the entry arm. Now watch our thrower over here. When we get to that same position, we don't see, right? We never see that leg extending out and we don't see where's the arm. At this point, we should see the arm here. If we were looking at the side angle and we took it back to this point, you could see right there, we're starting to see, but look at where her chest is facing. If we had the camera in this same position over here, we would see that her chest would be back and our young athlete here is too rotational. So this is part of the reason why you're seeing this position. Look at the load in the leg right here and look at the load in the leg with our two-time world champion, two-time Olympic champion, Sandra Perkovich. So what you're gonna see is this athlete is turning around. See how the arm's opening? Now watch Perkovich's arm there. It doesn't keep opening. She turns the hips around. The hips are gonna be eventually facing here. That's what's getting the arm to the high point. So what we're talking about, the first stage, what we call in our system, setting up maximum power. It's pillar two. This movement right here is what sets you up and gives you that big, big power position throughout your throw. So here's what is happening. She's opening around. So look where the, the arm and the shoulder is. Look at how the left leg is dragging. Why is that kind of right and kind of not right? Well, if you look carefully here, what you're gonna see is that Perkovich, right? She's gonna crank the lower body around and here's where we have, lower body is ahead, right? The lower body is starting to crank ahead. You see how the hips 
basically are facing kind of this way, upper body's facing that way. Look at our thrower over here. The hips and the shoulders are turning together. So by the time she gets around, the chest is open. So if you looked at the same position and we looked at the knee, right? The knee's facing 12, where are the shoulders? Her shoulders are facing back at 12. Her shoulders are facing almost three o'clock. That's your answer. Hey guys, okay, so I just showed you on the video analysis what's kind of going on. You can kind of see it looking at Sandra, looking at our young athlete, Keely, and you can see, again, she's really close and there's a lot of good movement going on in the throw. But like I just explained, when the arm is coming in, right, and we're setting up, so here we, when we see the athlete and we see the foot coming in and everything's here, everything's gotta be longer. You're gonna notice this athlete kind of goes here. Notice when I show you guys that. So the sweep leg, the, the entry leg, is coming in and you see her sitting down and she's going like this you see that so now the chest is too far around so when she gets here we haven't even really broke down the finish and in this video we're not going to we're going to save that one for another one because that's the next phase of creating big power in your throw but hopefully you guys can see that what you see with Perkovich is she comes here it stays long now it starts to open she's got this big wide sweep and then she holds here you see the difference versus the athlete who's sitting Sitting, opening and then it never really closes so as she goes she tries to pull around she does a really good job but by that time the upper body's ahead and it's never gonna get more ahead right it's never gonna stay back so I'm gonna resume the video analysis check it out and then hopefully this helps you guys that's the first phase of what you need to do this is again a chain reaction once that's happened to our thrower here on the right she's upper body's ahead and she's trying to get that discus to the high point but you can see in that process that she loses all the stretch and loses all the part. Now there's a ton more. We could go through this and we would break down a lot more key things. But the first thing that we wanna do is for you guys that are out there, you kind of see how do you get that big time power in the throw? You can't turn the upper body with the lower body. It's as simple as that. Remember, there, there, and it doesn't mean necessarily hold it back. It means there's a tension point and a sequence and what we refer to all the time are windows that enable the athlete to create power where you hold the body the right amount of time otherwise too much is holding it just just trying to turn with it held back that's not right either what you want to do is allow the lower body to be sprinting ahead so that it's creating that whipping motion of the upper body and that's what you see when you go here so if we look and we take it back and we play it in full speed you're gonna notice she comes through and we're gonna watch our athlete over here watch as she comes through and we'll talk about other things in an upcoming video but watch this door she's really close but you can kind of see how she loses that tension she's losing that power in the throw and that's what you guys all wanna do. You wanna get that big time power development in the throw and it starts in the beginning of the throw. So if you'd like more information about how the throw works step by step, how do you train one and a half to two seconds to develop better technique, check out our link below and check out the Throwing Chain Reaction System. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one, thanks.